Read the disclaimer 13 and up. What I'm about to tell you is going to be kind of nuts, but I actually think that Hasbro might be done with for Beyblade. So this comes from a reputable source, Famitsu, and this reads kind of like some sort of PR press release. So kind of the first part I want to highlight here is when the article is kind of just talking about the fourth generation of Beyblade, and it's mentioning the idea of a Masters tournament where they basically want to have it open for all, open for everyone. A big thing with the marketing here is that because of the fact, if you really think about it, uh, for a lot of the people that play Beyblade, it is very much, you know, open to all ages. So very cool to see them acknowledge that and they even want to do like a master tournament this winter. So dude, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of excited to see where this goes for their advertisement and direction. Now the next part that we can see here is when they're actually talking about the marketing side. So they're talking about things like Roblox, for an example, which they actually plan to do a collaboration. Well, I guess it's going to be kind of like the, an event, I don't know, I guess to show off Beyblade X. I don't really use Roblox, but I guess if it's going to be for Beyblade, that's going to be the first time I ever touch it, so it, yeah, fair play to them. Now everyone, where I want to put the focus on this article is now at the bottom, when they're talking about how Takara Tomi wants to really grow the brand. In order to further evolve our own IP Beyblade, which has a strong global brand power, we plan to launch this series in Asia, such as Taiwan, Hong Kong, and South Korea, by the end of the fiscal 2023 and to other countries around the world in addition to establish T Licensing Inc. in New York, USA which will handle the operations in regions centered around Europe and the United States and we'll start operations within this fiscal year and we plan to deliver Beyblade to the world. So the thing is because they say uh, in the United States and we'll start operations within this year I don't know to what extent they actually mean by this. You have to keep in mind with how the wording is. This could be one of two things. The first one, you could but first of all, either way, I'm pretty sure we would still probably see these only 2024 20, in uh, North America. But regardless, from what I can interpret here, bare minimum, you're going to get the Beyblades exactly like Takara told me. If we are in the best timeline possible, Hasbro no longer touches these products ever again. So to me, I feel we could potentially get to the best timeline possible for Beyblade. Well, without a doubt, Hasbro has done wonderful work for the first two generations. The third generation was probably the worst I've seen they ever handle and was a true disrespect to what made Beyblade kind of Beyblade and a lot of the appeal on the products. I don't think they're that good with their marketing. I don't think they care too much about the actual Beyblade itself. So if they're gone, I literally just do not care because it's just going to be a different way they're going to be distributing the products. How that will happen is we're going to eventually find out. Uh, and even if it's still Hasbro, if it's co-branded to Karatomi, that is still a big win either way. Even though I think Hasbro is probably going to kind of price it probably a little bit cringe because that's how Hasbro has been very recently with uh, the pricing stuff. Co-branded is still a win to me. My, my my overall wish was just to have the base basically virtually the same as Takara told me. So basically seeing this, I, I feel like uh, I, I kind of got what I wanted. Whether it's co-branded or whether they're gone for good, I'll, I'll take whatever. So again, not 100% confirmed at all that Hasbro is gone. That's only when we're going to find out. If you want to hear what I think most likely, probably co-branded. But, uh, you know, it is what it is, right? I want to mention, by the way, our store, and by the way, subscribe if you're new here and comment and share me your thoughts. I honestly think this news is pretty hype overall, but uh, make sure to check out our store, mallofbase.com. This is an optional way to support the channel. Uh, I appreciate any support regardless. Uh, we have Beyblade X pre-orders uh, up. This is for limited time because obviously there is a limited stock but uh, we tried to restock as much as we could so i do appreciate by the way a lot of the support recently on our store and again if you if you don't want to get from our store or whatever that's perfectly fine dude just uh, comment and subscribe i will take that support regardless all right that's about it for now Alrighty, take care everyone bye